Hey everybody, welcome okay. back. Today, we are going to be cracking open the Post Malone Secret Layer Cards. I've also got to welcome my guest, Zach Mystery. Thanks for joining, man. I really appreciate it. Absolutely, man. No problem. For anybody who doesn't know, Zach is an artist. He and I met a while back. We started doing some art on the channel. Um, and, oh wow, what what is that? What is that? All right, we're going to put that on hold for a second. Let me finish <laughs> Let me finish your introduction. So, Zach helped me with some of my early art, my logos, and you're also a TCG artist. You've contributed to multiple different games. So, I consider you a, a dedicated TCG fan, and that's what makes it fun having you on the show. Okay, dude, that what is this? So, there. so first, we first cracked the backstage pass, uh, or uh, I don't know, envelope. So, it looks like we have like a handwritten note from post malone that's obviously it's been printed um, yeah but uh that's kind of cool i mean i didn't expect that he probably at least wrote that once yeah he he wrote <laughs> it once and and they, they printed a whole bunch of them here is a sealed pack we've got the post son of rich this oh is a God. oh this is a seven drop wow it's a two Jeez. two with lifelink for each black <laughs> mana in a cost you may pay two life rather than pay a mana Whenever you cast a black spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on post, son of Rich. Here's the card uh, without the, the plastic cover on it. It's nice. So, yeah, he's he's got a real serious looking pose. He's about to take on the world kind of thing going on there. Never would I would think Post Malone and Magic the Gathering being a thing, but yeah. here we go. I, you know what? I mean, I guess, like, so a lot of people like Post Malone's music. Personally, I, I like a lot of his music. I haven't heard every song. Um, so I think that that probably is a good IP collaboration there to, to help, you know, magic gain exposure and everything. So mm -hmm. we have a six drop. It's a legendary artifact. You may look at the top card of your library anytime, and you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, if you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its mana value rather than paying its mana cost sacrifice 10 non-land permanents and each pose, uh, opponent loses 10 life wow there's a lot going on in this card so sacrificing 10 non-land permanents is a lot of permanents but if you can build them up um you could you could shoot you know you're you're sending negative 10 life across the battlefield there but i'm more interested in this you may play lands from the top of your library Right. That's interesting. If you cast a spell that way, though, you're paying life. So you are you're getting penalized for casting other spells that way. Uh, I, I did notice on the other card too. It said you may pay life rather than man. I wonder if that's going to be a theme that we see here, where um, you know we have this life drain option to make the game go a little faster. You can get cards out and make some moves a little bit faster. We have posts sigil for a two drop enchantment. Whenever an opponent casts a green spell, you may pay two. If you do, look at that player's hand, choose a card from it. The player discards the card. <laughs> People hate that stuff. Um, <laughs> and, oh, you pay two and return it to its owner's hand. So you can, like, recall this bad boy back. Look at that art, dude. That art's nice. It's it's also nice, too, that... Um... That the cards aren't just like, oh, look, it's Post Malone and stuff, and it does, like, one effect or so. They're actually, like, complicated, like, you know, leveled cards with the uh, with different effects. Yeah, I, I, I think that these are, like, playable cards. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, we have a Jet Medallion. Look at that bad boy. I like, I like we got a little, uh, we got some bling going on here. Um, black spells you cast cost one less to cast and you only spend two uh to get it out so yeah that's, that's nice. it, you know what's it i mean it's an artifact but it's kind of it kind of acts like an enchantment a little bit like it's just sitting on the board kind of just has like that always active um uh you know affecting the board state kind of a situation mm -hmm. uh let's see post the enchanter uh, these are again these are like very dark you know like yeah. look, look at his like it's like a dark scene. How much do you think he he was involved in uh, with the creation of these? Do you wonder? My guess is very involved, just because. Again, it's a guess. I think that he doesn't want to just slap a name on a product. I think that 
He likes playing Magic, and I think that he really probably wanted to actually collaborate. He's a creative person, obviously. He's an artist himself uh, in the music industry. So I'm just guessing he probably wanted to work with them and probably wanted to provide input, not just like license his name out. Just my guess. I don't really know. I wasn't there. Yeah. So uh, this is a four drop, but you do need black, blue, and white uh, magic. So, yeah, you're playing a triple color deck at least. And it's, but it's a, a 1-4 flying, and whenever post the enchanter attacks, you may search your library for an enchantment card with mana value 3 or less, put onto the battlefield, and shuffle. So it's a little bit like a tutor. Oh, wow. You know, because, like, tutors are, um, you know, allowing you to search your deck and pull mm. things out. So that's kind of cool. But it's a 4-drop. I mean, it's flying. Yeah, it, it's interesting. I think it's very interesting. You do need to be running three colors of mana. That that that's going to be where it stops me. I'm usually a, a dual. Um, I don't like mono so much anymore. It's fun and everything, but like I I'm like pretty solid on like two colors. Now mm. we're going to be doing the land. This is the land oh cycle for God. Post Malone. Wait, there's more. There is more. Uh, I think we're going to have another. Yep, here we go. Um, are these the same? looks like it yeah it would have been it would have i feel like this is a missed opportunity to write two different notes right and have the notes actually be collectible that way i think they are collectible but in a way of like knowing like, if i want yeah. both notes i've got to get both sets it's like the note the notes would have been cool like hey maybe give like an insight on like the cards themselves or you know stuff like that but you know whatever yeah Okay, this looks kind of fun though. We've got some doodles. Oh, so nice. right off the bat, let's let's get this cracked open. What I'm liking right off the bat is the the retro bordered foil uh, frame. I I'm digging that. It gives me that like chrome mox feel from the 30th countdown kit set in foil. I got one of those bad boys, mm -hmm. which let's just take a second. To show off what I'm talking about. Bam, it oh, just yeah. happens to be right here. So it, it gives me that kind of feel. I, I really do like it. I think it's fun to have the doodles. I'm willing to bet he actually drew those. Like, why oh, wouldn't yeah. they just have him do that? <laughs> right? Like, and then here, we've got very cool looking art. That's nice. Now, oh, oh, look. Yeah, they've got Mark and Post listed as the illustrators. Uh, cool very cool wow look at that island man it's like it's just like a very desolate looking place everything's gray except for the building i love like the little uh little water drop i like the water <laughs> drop too I, I like it too i don't know if it's a tear or a water drop or what it's supposed to be but uh ooh, a lot of color let's get it in focus look at that swamp that almost kind of doesn't Dang. even look like a swamp there's so much color you know, normally right. they're dark and gray and everything. <laughs> the little things down there. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's get it. Let's get this a little closer. Look at does it. it say, I love what? Liliana. Yeah. And I, I'm sure, I, I'm assuming he's talking, like, the, that he's talking about Liliana, the character from Magic, and not somebody in his personal life, but I have no idea. <laughs> I, I do enjoy that art, though. I like all mm -hmm. that color in there. A little bit different than your standard swamp. We've got our mountain. Look at that little uh, creature dude oh, he wow. drew down there. My shiny? <laughs> is that what it says? That's what it looks like. You are loved. This is a cool idea. You know, have somebody out there, uh, you know, who's famous or an influencer or something, and have them just doodle on the cards. That's kind of fun. Now, you can't overdo something like this, right? If we saw it too often, I think it would be less special. But oh, yeah. uh, I have not personally seen something like this just yet that's a crazy forest what is coming out is that the is that a tree or is that a creature looks Ghost? like a mouth of like a bear or something that, that looks wild these i really i do think that they like these lands they they hit the mark everywhere like the art is awesome the doodles are fun it's the post malone ip they've got the retro foiled uh, border frame I, I I really do enjoy these. And our last one will be 
Oh, Fabled Passage. If you tap it, sacrifice Fabled Passage, search your library for a basic land card, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Then, if you control four more lands, untap that land. Oh, nice. This could be very useful. It's a little bit less doodling on this one, but he's got the, looks like the posty little <laughs> signature there. Yeah. And look at that art. Like, it's like a, it literally is a fabled passage. You're walking through some, like, nasty looking, whatever world this is. It looks like walking. you're in Mordor and you're, you know, about to go back to the Shire. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I like that. Again, firing on all cylinders with this mini set. I can't wait to get these sleeved up and in my collection. I'd like to see some more stuff like this. I think they got to be selective on who they choose to collaborate with. Uh, let's see. What are the most valuable cards in the set? It looks like uh, Post Son of Rich. Yeah, it's like 50 bucks. So when you're looking at the foil. Yeah, so that's a $50 card. Wow. That one card, I think, paid for the entire set. That's crazy. But yeah. hey, at least it's it's holding a, a nice value. Did we see land? Oh, we do see the lands. Yeah, I mean, you know, for basic lands to be like that eight to ten dollar area, and I don't even know if that's foil. Let's let's click on foil. Yeah, I mean, look, thirteen bucks. Like, wow, <laughs> just for the lands. Appreciate you guys for sticking around, hanging out with us. Thank you, Zach, for taking some time. I know you're at work right now, so. We are going to let you get back to that. Yeah, all right, man. Appreciate you having me on, though. Yeah, dude, it was fun as always. Take it easy, man. You too. All right, peace. If uh, you guys are looking to purchase any Magic the Gathering products on Amazon, I've got product links in the video description below. They're my affiliate links. They help out the channel in supporting the channel a ton to get a little uh, fraction of the uh, sale price there, but it does not cost you anything extra to use. If you like the video, make sure you like it. It really helps out the channel. If you have seen a few of my videos and you have not subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future content. Take it easy, everybody. See you in the next one. Peace.